Okay, I'm putting this up for money. Facebook fans, or whatever you want to call them, or anybody who's really interested in it. Because I'm going to give my opinion. Uh, I came on Facebook this morning, and I happened to see, as usual, uh, quite a few ads for against Romney, for Romney, uh, you know, and so forth. And I'm going to give my opinion. My opinion only, and I welcome any comments. I really do, because, let's face it, uh, all you do is learn from a good discussion. I don't call it an argument. You can call it an argument, whatever you want. You tell me I'm an idiot because I, I'm, you know, for this guy or that guy. Then tell me why. That's how we learn. All right. Getting down to this. Bottom of it. <laughs> and the reason I'm putting this up. I can't quite understand how people have forgotten, um, you know, what happened during the Bush administration, um, the Reagan trickle-down theory, which was so fantastic, deregulating all the um, banks and, you know, giving the corporations big tax cuts so that they could employ people when instead all they did was, you know, give their CEOs millions of dollars more and it never, it didn't work, period. In theory, communism is a perfect form of government. In actuality, in practice, it doesn't work. Okay? I mean, it works, but nah. anyway. Uh, the bit with Romney, I myself, to put it into a, a real quick summation, is this man is great CEO material. He knows how to make money. Um, I've been watching, and unless I'm wrong, uh, number one, why is he not putting out his income tax? Why isn't he making those records public? Um, in the past, we've had others that didn't do that, and then when they finally got down to the bottom of it, Nixon's Vice President Spiro Agnew was thrown out of office due to tax evasion. Okay? Uh, back when Bush was elected, he went into office and he wasn't actually elected. If you would take a look at that whole mess, uh, they didn't even determine that he was the president and he walked right in. Now, that was a win-win situation uh, between him and uh, what's his name, but it doesn't make any difference. Um, from what I understand, unless somebody can prove me wrong, uh, Mitt Romney was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now, yesterday, his wife uh, did an interview, and oh, they were so surprised. She was saying about when she remembered when they got married and eating tuna and cut me a freaking break. Why? Because all his money was tied up in stocks and bonds? Uh, in outside interests outside of the country. Uh, I mean, he never, he never lived like a normal American. Meaning, when his car quit, it was no big deal. He either got another one or, you know, AAA came and took it away and fixed it. Boom, boom, boom. Um, did he ever worry about his mortgage? I doubt it. Didn't have to. <clears throat> did he always have an income? Did he ever worry about a job? No, nah, he had money. The bottom line is to put somebody in as the president. It is my opinion, and my opinion only, that we need somebody who knows how to run the country. Number one, um, knows what it's like to be a normal citizen. Uh, an average citizen, let me put it that way. When I say normal, I, and I almost mean normal, uh, an average citizen that lives week to week on his paycheck and, you know, his kids have to kind of do without because uh, daddy's trying to, you know, save money for Social Security for when he gets older uh, and then finds out while he's, you know, he's borrowing from that to pay for the kid's college and everything else. And, and the food and the gas... It's just absolutely absurd. Um, and to keep this going, I'm sorry. Um, it's wrong. It's just plain wrong. 
Now, I did put a post up on here about basically it was Thomas Jefferson that came out with a saying, and I heard it in a speech, one of Thomas Jefferson's speeches, and I found it like a year and a half ago, and I just can't seem to find it again because I wanted to post it. But he said that when the time comes, and it will come, that our government is not serving us correctly. It is our duty as citizens of the United States to remove them all from office. All of them. And put in new. Uh, I, in my room, as you can see, I went, I missed it room on second. And there were so many kids. I just put out one question one day. I said, just out of curiosity, does anybody know the first politician that was actually paid? Um, Washington wasn't paid. That was not a paid position as President of the United States. As, you know, many of them, and including all your congressmen, none of them were paid. Um, even Jefferson, Adams, uh, yeah, on down the line, and I forget which one was the first one that got paid, but it was in the 1800s. So when you really think about it, those forefathers did their job, did it well because they were concerned about the country. Um, I did watch a show several years ago on what it cost per congressman, and it's approximately 200,000 a year or 20,000. No, it was more like 200,000 a year per congressman. And I'm like, what? And they, it was on public broadcast and they listed, you know, almost line by line where this money comes from uh, or where, where the outgo is. Um, these are things that, you know, the congressmen say, well, we haven't been, uh, we haven't had a raise for over 10, 15 years. Uh, yeah, but in those years that you're in there, uh, you know, your expenses are paid. Everything is basically taken care of. Uh, you want to take your family on vacation, but boom. Um, when you if they vote you out of office, it's okay because you have a salary for the rest of your life, as does the president. And I mean, come on, um, do we? No. Oh, but they were running the country. Really? Um, get with the program. Now, I, I've seen on Facebook uh, the saying about, you know, let's pay all the congressmen minimum wage and see how long it takes to change the laws. Uh, I agree it's not going to be done, but, you know, that and that would actually work. Uh, when these bailouts came through, if they would have taken all that money and instead given it to the Americans, divvied it up between all the Americans, I mean, we would have been able to pay off our homes or buy a home, um, which would have bailed out the uh, real estate. We could have, you know, they were talking about it. You would have to buy an automobile or pay your automobile off, bailing out the uh, auto industry. I mean, there are so many things that could have been done. But what did they do? The insurance lobbyists. I mean, that was a, that was an absolute crime. Shut them down. Just shut them down. You know, tell them no. Well, all the offices closed. So tough shit. I mean. If you screw up your budget or you take your money and invest it and lose your shirt, guess what? You have to declare bankruptcy, don't you? Ah, oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, not a real long rant, but I, I wanted to get that out there. That I, I'm finding on my Facebook, it is actually splitting friends up. Uh, you know, these people that are... are if all I can say is my feeling is if Mitt Romney gets in office, we're in serious trouble. I would welcome, I would more than welcome 
somebody telling me why it would be more beneficial to put Romney in than even if you don't like Obama. Do you really want the Republicans back in? Your choice. Uh, you know, shoot me some comments. Tell me I'm an idiot. Tell me why, though. Don't just say you're an idiot. Tell me why. I'm interested. Okay? Later.